Hello guys, today we're gonna take a look into a brand new mod for Battle for Middle Earth 2, The Rise of the Witch King, The Elder Scrolls, The Battle for Tamriel. For now we have only two available new factions, but in total they are planning to add 11. So stay tuned, and of course the link for the download is going to be in the description down below. So let's go on solo play, skirmish, and for now we're gonna take a look into the Empire faction. But if you want to see the second faction, the Dominion one, you can let me know in the comment section down below. And also let's pick a brand new map, the Colovian Highlands. And let's get it started. Wish me luck, because I have not played this mod one time before. I was just downloading that five minutes ago. And we're gonna hit, of course, always like a truck, boys. Alright, looks like a Man of the West faction to me, for now. But of course, it's early to say that. That's how the Citadel is looking like, boys. So, brand new design, of course. Also at the bottom left side, around the PowerPoint menu, as you can see. Let's take a look into the current PowerPoint. We have the Healing Hands, which is gonna be like a heal. Then we have the Rebuild, of course, self-explaining. Then we have also the Legions Assemble. Oh my goodness, Avengers Assemble moment for the leadership, which is similar to the Rallying Call or the War Chant we know already from the game. And I believe that's gonna be the best thing to choose at the beginning of the game. These are our resource buildings, they are also called Imperial Farm. They have 2000 health. And also very important to mention, if you wanna play this mod for oh, yourself, no, it's it very important that you have your BFME 2 on the patch 1.06 and your Rise quick. of the Witch King on the patch 2.02 um, version 8.3. So I wanna build a Archer range first. You don't wanna leave a space there. Just in case the opponent might try to commit against that. When you want to build a barracks or any production building really next to your farm, you want to make sure that there is no space in between. Otherwise your opponent might get in between the buildings and it's going to be almost impossible for you to defend. Let's get working. So let's build one more farm. And once again, when it comes to build farms or any resource buildings in the game, it's very important that you build always around 97% or higher to get the maximum value of these farms, which is 25. That's the archer range, we are able to recruit the town guard archers, but once it's level 2, we are also getting the chance to recruit the legion marksmen. But for now, they're gonna do the work, I'm fine with that. And of course, later on we're gonna also take a look into our heroes, and hopefully in this game we will be able to unlock every single power point from our spellbook as well. So let's keep expanding. 97 is the magical number. Can can be higher, but doesn't need to be. And the more farms you build, the less money you will get from, you know, one of them. But it's fine. The farms in this game, unlike in BFME 1, are very important. Uh, because not only they are giving you money, which is of course essential to keep playing the game. But also they are increasing your command points. If you lose them, it's like a lose-lose situation. And keeping them alive, getting them to level 2, to level 3 is very important for the mid to late game. Trust me on that one. So let's try to build... Actually, you know what? We're gonna build a barracks now. Let's build a barracks. Looks exactly like that. Once again, make sure... Or try your best to not leave space. And this, this builder can actually build potentially a tower. Can we build a tower? Yeah, battle tower right here. Oh, there is a creep, I believe. So let's build right here. Not only because of the defense, but also to get vision control, control around this area. And power upgrade wise on the fortress, we are able to get the dragon banners, which is gonna be leadership for the nearby allied units around the fortress. But also, it's like the banner upgrade is gonna make our heroes a bit cheaper. That sounds pretty prom promising, actually. 10% cost reduction on the heroes, and also the build time is gonna be decreased by 10%. So, pretty nice. And also the reduced cost of the builders, which is even better when you think about that. Okay, that's how the barracks is looking like. So we need to recruit at least one pikeman for the worst case scenario. Our builder is done. Let's try to build some more farms. And this one won't be 97 person, I believe. But it's okay-ish if it's gonna be around 90. So let's go like that, I believe. Should be fine enough. Because I don't want to recruit too many units, even though we have to just to feel safe and um, then at some point of the game we can always try to go for some heroes instead just to see what they are able to do you know let's give it fire arrows as well and let's keep expanding at the very same time okay let's group them like that 
Always aggressive stance on the archers and hold ground stance on the pikemen to make them tankier. We have right now 450 command points. It's going to be 500. Remember, every single resource building is increasing our command points by 50 when they are level 1, by 75 when they are level 2, and by 100 when they are level 3. We got work to do. We got work to do. That's very true, my dude. That's very, very true. Okay, so we can also try to expand around this area. And in the meantime, just creep this goblin layer to get even more money. And then we can finally start recruiting some heroes as, for example, Caius Cosares. Recruit the spy master of, of the empire. A spy? No, I'm just an old man with a skooma problem. All right. All right. So I'm sorry for calling you a spy. Hey, hey, hey. Be careful there. You know what we can always do? We can put those archers inside the jeans. Oh, he's using it. He's using it, boys. He's going ham. Did I just miss the thing? No way I did, right? We will be, we will be fine. The builder here was then. And uh, I know you will call me lame, but you know what? Better safe than sorry, my dude. Better safe than sorry. Let's build yet one more. And look at this smart guy. I mean, I like the fact that the... You know, AI is so much more, so much smarter in compared to the hard PC or whatsoever in BFME 1. They know what to focus. They know they can't win the fight. So they were, you know, trying to go immediately to our resource building to deny, our, deny us the resource income we are looking for. Okay, that's oh, our hero. Please, by all means, ask me lots of questions. Looks like... Oh, actually, look his abs. Look his six-pack, dude. I mean, he was losing some hair, but it's fine, I guess. He has also something Spy Master allows to get stealth by standing still. Okay. So I believe he's pretty similar. Oh, well. Hey, hey, hey. He's coming. I, I believe he's pretty similar to the Warm Tongue, right? What? Maybe not. We gotta build one more tower here, dudes. Especially to save our builder. Very important. Let's see what this hero is able to do. And we're gonna go from the list. Let's go from, from the cheapest one to the most expensive one, you know? Slowly but surely. And we might need... Oh, there, there, there they come. Your orders. No the enemy has I like the fact that he's spamming so many units on us, you know? Which is great because that's going to give us the chance to unlock all I the power points from moments. the spellbook and also to level up our heroes, potentially all of them, to level 10. <coughs> to see what they're able to do. And now we have also enough money for a general tool use. For now, we're going to get Delphin on the field. Recruit Grandmaster of the Blades. Sounds promising. General... Recruit the military governor of Skyrim. So Skyrim mod, by the way, Elder Scrolls we Online, of course. Oh, did we just lose the dudes? Yeah, I was not paying attention. <laughs> okay, my bad. Oh, they are they are coming, boys. That's what's happening here, right? That's what's happening here. So we might need some more units on the field when you think about that. Maybe get it even to level two. Once again, I was always trying to go around uh, without to needing to recruit many units uh, because I would like to get some heroes on the field instead, but. In the Rise of the Witch King, it's Long easier said than done because you will get attacked all the time. Let's, Let's give this tower also fire. Is this from opponent? Yes, this is that from opponent. So let's recruit a soldier battalion and let's try to take it down. And also this dude is going down. Oh my goodness. Hey, you need to get dismounted. We improved the archery range. Let's put them inside the jeans, boys. They are level 3 now. Patrolling experience. Tangas battalion gain 15% armor and weapon damage. Okay. Remember, you can also get rebuilt later on from the spellbook, if necessary, of course. Fire is unlocked, that's good. I believe this area is gonna be safe. This tower with the archers inside should be able to defend us for now. Let's get now the strong boys. With also the rallying call in the worst case scenario. It's not rallying call, it's legions assemble. But I cannot believe that. We lost actually two heroes already. That's so sad. We need to get them back on the field, boys. It's Someone embarrassing. We're gonna lose this farm, but it's okay. Oh, Let's Emperor place this tower guard right in front of the tower to protect this. Do we have actually a marketplace or something here? Let me check. No. We have a blacksmith. Yes, we have I'm a marketplace. Old man. It also looks it's like the marketplace from the Man of the Resurrection. Okay, emperors. so this guy's level 3 already. But what does he have? Moon sugar. He eats a small portion of moon sugar, which gives him 20% damage and 100% speed. Oh my goodness, this guy is going to be like fast and furious. Are we going to lose this? I believe we can save this for now. And once this is level 2, we will also be able to recruit the footmen and the spearmen. 
And once it's level 3, the city cohort. Uh, able to charge at enemy lines and reveal hidden troops. Okay. I mean, that sounds all promisi promising, but once again, I would rather like to get the heroes on the field first about to find before trouble. anything else. Let's keep... Oh, imagine. this guy's a troll now. What's the matter? Let's take him down. Our towers are doing a fantastic job. Imperial and now we have the strong archers. We can put them inside the jeans. I only have a few moments. Market, please, for the Grand Harvest. Quite expensive, but we will have the money very soon. Okay, let's get Why this one for me? more resources. Where are the heroes at? So we have in total three, four, five, six, seven heroes. Yeah, seven heroes. One, two, three, four, five, seven. I only have a few more math. Um, you know what? Let's go for rebuild and save this tower. I don't want to lose this one. You're about to find more for trouble than you could possibly the worst case imagine. scenario. Get down to the front line. More and once again, if you want to put your archers inside, always make sure to use the aggressive stance to maximize the DPS and don't lose them like we just did. I only have a few moments. This guy is quite squishy, though. This guy is very squishy. Yeah. We, but you know what we need, guys? We need a well for the sustain. Do we have a well? Yeah. It looks like that. So that's gonna be nice. Now we have four heroes. Delphin. Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, Delphin's head rate against Alt Mary Dominion makes her deal 25% more damage against Altma units. That's pretty nice. We and we have also the champion of Croydal. Oh, he can get mounted too. Shadow Mare. Oh, that so almost sounds like Shadow what? Fax. He was able to heal up quite fast though. We, used to be we have Sustain. As Suspicion. Of the Septim Emperors. Okay, loses speed, enemy units. Oh, nice, also movement speed boost. The only downside here is that, uh, you know, the, the healing from the, from the structures so in this game uh, aren't very limited. So with that being said, we gotta be, we gotta build that at least two, two more wells, you know? Like, if you have like two wells, three wells, it's gonna be much, much better. Our opening is creeping, trying to attack from this side all the time, but we are in a good spot. The Legion's always been here. Okay, the well is finished, let's build one more. They also look great. I mean, the design overall from this mod looks great. And I believe there is nothing stolen or something like that because there is always drama happening when something <laughs> is similar to this from this mod to other mods. But I believe nothing... I've, ne I've not seen something like that before. So the names, the units, the heroes are... Oh, 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 oh. About to find more Someone was able to pass through. Hold on a second. Let's use Bombard here. Kill you where you to get a bit faster. Map. Our heroes are going to be very, very strong. Okay, he's almost out. Martin now, Septim. And then we have also light. Titus Meet 2 and also Abnur Tarn. Once again, don't blame me. I don't know any of these names. I've never played only have a few uh, these games before. Smart, Elder Scroll, okay. Elder, you know, Elder Scrolls Online or the Skyrim. Never never ever played this before. So can't say anything. He's also getting some Lancers on the fields now. If we lose the farm again. still, but that's pretty unfortunate. How can I serve? Okay. Move out. Let's put them inside. We can win this fight. Oh, there is another hero. There is a hero from the opening as well. We might need to pick heal. Let's pick heal for the heroes. We have so many heroes. Would be a shame. Oh my goodness. Someone is hitting her like a truck. There we go. She's going down in, in no time. The heroes are shining bright like a diamond. But as always, the pikes are a great counter. Let's not use or waste heal when there are two wells behind us. And I believe one of the builders has been taken down. And look at what? that. I was not paying attention once again. I'm so blind sometimes. Would be a shame to lose his barracks now. And there they come, boys. There they come. What matters is that we act. But we have two. Of, uh, there, this is the level. I was act actually was like, do I have two of them? What is this able? Heals nearby friendly heroes. Okay, it's like Atelas, I believe. Sounds also like Aragorn, kind of. <laughs> There they come, boys. Let's give this also fire. Oh man, they are passing through like it's nothing, right? We are actually in a bad spot. Come on, come on, come on the field now. Nice. You know what? We need uh, at least one more tower here, boys. Let's build one here. And also around this side. This guy is always sneaking from this area. So now you can also participate in the fights if you want to. Oh, the well is going down. Ask me lots of questions. And also, you can build another tower. Potentially right here. And you know what? Just destroy this. 
You're about to find more trouble okay, now we can fight. Possibly imagine. He was also able to revive one of the heroes, but that's fine. What is this guy able to do? Emperor leadership for the nearby allied units, of course. Then he has the voice of the Emperor, which is gonna make the enemy units flee from him. Emperor's doubles summons two doubles to protect. So nice, actually, like in the films, you know. I don't want to die. You die for me. Uh, then we have also the gold brand. Magic, magical attack with attack. gold brand. Hold on a second. We need to defend ourselves first. The permanent pressure is kind of tough. And this dude is very expensive. 3,600 with the banners, you know? So he costs normally nearly 4k. More, uh, more than 4k, actually. Victory will be ours. Okay. We'll we gotta protect this tower, boys. We gotta protect this tower, boys. What is happening here? Let's use healing hands to keep our heroes healed or healthy, rather. And also let's build another well for more sustain. Can, you can also rally and call the units inside the tower, by the way, if you if you didn't know that. We need to peel back. Uh, we also need some more arches on the field. Now we have all the heroes. The only one missing is getting rebooted for now. So we can finally start getting some units on the field and we have to do that oh my goodness the builder run for your life my dude run for your life oh that's not possible rest in peace uh, mysterious nobleman summons uh, janus Osildor. vampire count okay we have the draft in increased city court and legion troops production speed summons a defensive fort okay that's gonna be nice i believe i i, I think we need that one I think we need that one. We need to summon right here. It's like a body kit summon from the Mortal Faction. Unfortunately, it also this farm is going down. We need more builders. What are the fort upgrades? Um, provides it now increases fort resolution reach. We're gonna take a look. Take a look into that as well. We're gonna take a look into every, everything anyway. This tower might be taken down. Let's use. Uh, no, we don't need to use rebuild. We can just wait a little bit longer. We will be able to defend ourselves for now. What? Did we lose a hero? To tell them what to do. Let's heal. Did we lose a hero? I was not paying attention once again, my dude. No, we didn't lose a hero. Okay, the last guy is back on the field. Up Nurtern. Hopefully he's a wizard. Rune prison. Which makes enemies within it freeze for 5 seconds and suffer a small amount of damage. We must be cautious. Okay, we don't need to use that. Oh, I would like to use it against a big group of units. Ask me lots and of also, questions. this tower is going down, boys. We also lost this defensive one. Holy quacamole, what is happening? What is happening? Let's use the build here. Alright. Let's defend. The yeah, they are coming from everywhere now, aren't they? Yeah, they are coming from everywhere indeed, dude. Okay, boys, so where is our build at? So we need, you know what we need? We need defense. That's what we need. We need to build uh, more towers because we have invested so much time slash money into getting heroes on the field, but heroes all alone won't make us win the game. So we definitely need more than that. These guys, they need to go inside of this building or tower ASAP for some more safetyness. With the arches inside, it should be much, much easier for us. And also level 3 buildings, as you guys know, are also able to shoot at the enemy units. So now, all the heroes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. I mean, we were counting them before, so don't, don't need to do that again. The tower needs a bit more support. But for now, let's build a tower here to protect the farms at least. Let's use this. I will do what I must to ensure it's Did we use it? Yeah, they are frozen. Like it's like a cheese moment. You know what I'm saying? When you are taking a photo, like cheese. Uh, let's get old. Oh my goodness, we can't. They are so expensive. What is going on? This is our land. We have also healed from the spellbook for the worst case. Would be nice if we can protect this tower. But it feels like it's not gonna be possible. Let's give them level 5 is maximum because once again the balance is always based on uh, Rise of the Witch King. And in Rise of the Witch King, the max level for the units is level 5, while the max level for the heroes is always level 10. But in Battle for Middle Earth 1 or Battle for Middle Earth 2, you can also level up your normal units till level 10. Which is something I personally like way more. Okay, we need to defend this area, boys. 
And I want to get all the upgrades first. What does this do? Silver munitions. It's fire damage to all attached towers and trebuchets. Okay. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. For 1,500. Now I'll we have enough you. money. Let us make haste. Without delay. Okay, we have also one more archer Our here, right? Serve the so. Now hold the law. You look like Gonda archer to me. The enemy is here. That's why we're here. To bring order and civilization. Oh, they were able to pass through, but luckily there's a tower. 11 power points collected. I would like to see for the 15. Um, receive heavy armor, silver arrows, and forge bleed. So it's gonna be upgrade for the selected units. Storm crown. It's like a freezing rain, I believe. It's gonna be a debuff. Nullifies enemy leadership. And then we have also the brief of Cain. Or Cain. Summons two hordes of Alessian soldiers led by Mori House, Breath of. I mean, these names are so unfamiliar to me. New Era and uh, Nubidium <laughs> are gonna be the 25, the big ones. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable on. warriors. This, one arch, this extra battalion is doing so much work. Look at them, they're looking like cats. Hey, Tom and Jerry. Okay. And we once again lost a builder, right? But it's fine. Let's get all the upgrades first, just to see what it does. As expansions, we are able to get trebuchets, towers, uh, dormitory expansion, which is gonna increase our command points by 20%. And also the wall of expansion for the worst case scenario when there is going to be like a melee attacker army around the fortress to take it down. Okay, we have enough money now. We can also summon one more defensive structure right in the middle. We are able to defend this area. That's beautiful. The builder has to get in safety. Did we lose the archer battalion? I don't know. It feels like that. Let's give it fire. We are called to honor. Okay, now they have silver town arrows, and we have almost 15 power points collected. Save the builder, please. We can't build there. We can't build there. Remember, we have marketplace, so we are getting a lot of money over time. Let's use rebuild. It's almost up. We need a bit more time. And once we have some time to actually explain, we're gonna take a look into every single power point from the spellbook and also into the powers from the heroes. Since a couple of them were able to get some levels now. 17 power points collected. Let's get this one. This way we can get the chance to see a summon, you know? And now we have all the we have all the upgrades on the fortress as well. The pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, let's put the them Emperor. inside this tower the for long extra long defense. And we are in a good spot. Look, even this level 3 is now shooting with fire because of the upgrade on the fortress, you know? Pretty nice. So, let's take a look into... The hey! Does he have siege weapons? Oh yeah, he has ballistas. They are shooting off screen, by the way. Look at this damage. Let's heal. Alright, we need to make something happen. Luckily, our heroes are hitting like an absolute track. But what is this guy able to do? Uh, leadership, master, target units, gain experience. If I allies... Oh, that's nice. We get money for killing stuff. Okay, we can summon this, right? What's the matter? We can also summon this one, just to see how powerful the summons are going to be. Blade Master, and the person temp. Hey, careful! One of them had heal, right? I believe this guy had heal. Let's use heal. There we go. Finally, level four. What this voice of the emperor? Okay. And now we have the mage's fury. I want to see that. I want to see that. Let's see. This is gonna be like the lightning lightning sword from Gandalf. Yeah, pretty similar. Pretty, pretty similar voice. Legion's always looking for strong, capable Okay, but it, it would be nice to deal some damage to the buildings, I'm assuming. <laughs> What's dealing no damage? What does this do for us? It gives us like, uh, it's like very, very likely like Man of the West. It's like the Ivory Tower, you know? Pretty similar, like almost identical actually. Gives you more speed and like, you, you will get the chance to see a lot. Who's this guy? Mari House. It's like a hero. Leave attack. Gains 100% damage. For a long time, all I cared about so it's like Gimli, but you lose armor because of that reason. It's fine. We have 7,000 resources collected, boys. Where are our builders at? What is that? The blades. Requires the strong versus old troops, but they cost 2,000. Oh my goodness. Can we... We can only have one of them, right? I believe they are like the mini heroes, if I'm not mistaken. Because of the upgrade on the fortress, we are able to see everything. But I want to just take a look delay, into this guy's abilities as well. Okay, once he's level 8, commander of the legions, 
Uh, nearby he and in the nearby carry that again 100% damage and 300% armor. That's crazy. No, oh, that's gonna be like glorious charge. I feel like okay, no no force can slow this charge. So pretty similar to the glorious charge. Let's build the blacksmith now. Put upgrades we need on our units later on. Hey, stop it! Are they also able to shoot when they are level three? The answer is no. So let's build some defensive structures. The blades keep this of protection. Guarded and guided the protection. Um, this guy than you could was able imagine. to summon reinforcements, but there are the siege weapons still. We need to take them down ASAP. Now, and rebuild this on cooldown. Unfortunately, we're gonna lose this one. But it is how it is. Power points are rising to the sky as this tower is falling. They have also long shot, which is pretty nice. Let's try to use that. We used to be known across Tamriel and try to protect at least the second tower. Okay, we killed them. I'm all that's left the we must recover the amulet of kings. Let's use this. Hopefully, it's gonna be active or effective against units. Yeah, it's very effective against units, but it was dealing zero damage to the building, to the farm, actually. Let's peel back a little bit. Be on your way. I mean, this guy is very squishy, this Delphine guy. Order reborn. A light bleeds near Delphine, gain 30% damage, 25% armor, and get also fast experience. It's like a passive thing. The blades are here. These are the blades. And we can only get one of them on the field. Hey! Okay, just in the, in the last possible second, we need to peel back. He has too many units on the field. Maybe the blades can make something happen. Or they are gonna be gone now, right? The blades, where are you? Look, they are almost, they are actually gone, but they are staying. I mean, once again, that's beta. So they might be buggy. Blades, we need your assistance. We, are not we need your assistance. We'll never be ready, so I Let's freeze them all. We'll Let's use rebuild. We have 26 power points collected. So we can only choose this one. Summons Emperor Tiber Septim with two hearts of the blades. The blades are temporarily, but Tiber Septim stays on the field until he is killed. Units nearby summon summoning area gain 50% damage and are immune to fear. You know what? We gotta do it. We gotta do it, boys. Let's see how powerful this can be. Time is short. Your concern about my fashion sense is but irrelevant. Rally together. Look at them. I mean, I believe, you know, playing against somebody or against AI and trying to take a look into everything at the same time is almost not gonna work in this one because everything is new. So it's really hard to focus on one thing, you know? Do we have a stable too? Yes, of course we have a stable too. Look, we have not seen this one yet. That's how the catapults or trebuchets are looking like. So, I mean, I, I can say one thing. This faction is pretty similar um, to say it. To the Man of the West faction from BFME 2 or in Rise of the Witch King. And now you get the chance to keep this hero permanently. He's level 10. I accept him. He has, level, he has a lot of abilities. Emperor, leadership, the steady hand, powerful attack that causes meta impact and mass damage to structures. We're gonna find out about this one. Then you have the boots of the Apostle. These boots were gifted. Uh, while wearing them, Tybo could crash enemy lines. Okay. Discrease. Target enemy, special ability timers. Oh, it's like the Hour of the Witch King, pretty much. Together we Let's go. Let's go for a counterattack now. Let's see what they are able to do. We can also summon one more of these things for extra defense. It's always nice. Oh, someone is coming from this area, but we should be fine. Let's give also fire. Look, our money, though. They are rich, like richer rich. Get every... Building to our level 3 now. Survive. Let's take down this one. Let's make sure that our heroes are not gonna get killed. Uh, we can even summon more units now. Let's summon more units. We can also give them rallying call if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh, that's a hero only. I mean, look at the heroes we have on, on the field, boys. We have so many of them. Holy guacamole. Okay, let's use this one. It's like a debuff kind of thing. No I mean, these units are dope, though, the blades. Also, nice names on them. We improved the stables. The stable, we are now able to recruit uh, the Legion Equities. Can reveal hidden enemy units. Let's get all the upgrades. I mean, we are so rich, we can do whatever we want, really. Can we get the most upgrades? No. Doesn't look like that. Not yet, at least. 
Level 3 is gonna give us the chance to also purchase heavy armor. That's gonna be also the plan. Power points are rising to the sky. Our heroes are almost invincible. They are almost high. All of them are highly leveled. This guy is level 9. Someday. And once again, that's able to buff the blades next to him to make them even stronger. Even though I believe the blades all alone are like the crazy damage dealers, you know? They're also quite tough. And they're also able to buff each other, so that's pretty unique. I wanna wait a second. I wanna see this guy's the steady hand against this building. Let's see how much damage it's gonna be and how it's gonna look like. I mean, what? It's absolutely nothing, boys. Let's peel back a little bit. We are in a safe spot from this side, I'm not worried. We can also, just for the worst case scenario, build some defensive expansions around the fortress because we can afford it. We can afford it. Okay. Where is the build at? There he is. Uh, we have double well. We can build even one more. I mean, there is no reason for us to not do it. All the upgrades are now purchased. Let's give them all the upgrades too on these units to make them a bit stronger and tankier. We were able to peel back. And there is the reinforcements. We have not even command points. We are not even command points full yet. Oh, someone died. How he died? The wizard got killed. It is how it is. It is how it is, boys. Level 2 now. They have also abilities Dragon Slayers. The blades are famous Dragon Slayers that attack deal 100% damage against flying against monsters, okay? Then we have to hold your ground. Hold your ground, hold your ground, son of, you know, man of the west. Um, for 10 seconds, Blades lose 70% of their speed but become immune to all types of damage. So they can, for example, when it comes to take down the enemy fortress, you just use that, you don't need to move. Movement speed doesn't really do anything for you, and then you can fight Blade Master. Blade Masters, for 30 seconds, Blades gain 50% damage and become immune to enemy arrows. Actually, pretty promising units, and also very nice if you can level them up to level 10, you know? You get a lot of benefits from that. We are getting out range from these arches, by the way. Well, this, this unit is also looking nice. What is that? Bear leaf. Okay, sounds nice, or looks pretty nice. That's what I want to say. We're gonna see for the 25 if we can. No, we can't, right? We need to go for either one of these. Let's get the freezing rain. I want to see the animation. Hey, it looks like freezing rain. I don't know what I was thinking. Of course it looks like freezing rain. Okay, we have now finally more units on the field. We can upgrade them all. There is no reason not to. Because once again, we have so much money. Um, but the problem is we need to go to this area. So let's go to this area. All together. For some reason, he's always sending siege weapons from the right side. But never from the middle. Okay. We can also summon this one. We lost this, but it's okay. We have level 5 units inside the jeans now. Okay, we took it down. Let's kill these units too. I mean, these are like the Alvin Galadrim units, it feels like, right? Hey, okay, we need to fight them. We have so much money. Holy quacamole. I'm actually wondering if there are also ring heroes, because I, I have not disabled them. But I cannot see Gollum on the field. I mean, maybe there is no ring hero enabled in this mod because that's not like a battle for Middle Earth mod. It's more like a, you know, Skyrim mod in battle for Middle Earth games. So it's very unique. And maybe for that reason they disabled the ring heroes. But maybe it's also only on this map. Once again, guys, I would like to hear your opinions about this mod uh, in the comment section down below. And also, once again, if you want to download this mod for yourself, Please make sure that your BFME 2 is on the patch 1.06 and your Rise of the Witch King is on the patch 1.2.02 uh, version 8.3. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Oh, he's back in the business. Tarn speaks, causes uh, targeted units to become hostile. Oh, that's nice. That's like a uh, warm tongue kind of thing, right? Die, you miserable creature. <laughs> Hello, Boromir. What is that? Champion becomes invulnerable. Avatar of the Pelinal for 30 seconds, he gains 100% damage and 50% speed. This guy can always, Brother Martin can always be the brother and heal them up. I mean, we can right click on this one, I guess. We can also right click on this one. This one is right click on this one. Right click on all of them, if we can. 
Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Actually, he has so many units on the field, they are also very strong. So we might be forced to peel back yet once again. We must defend our homeland. I have plans to okay, let's peel back for the, for the sustain. I'm all I believe we need more units on the field. So let's spam archers this time. For a change. Don't split once again. This guy is fast, so we need to actually save him. I mean, we are, our heroes are very strong now. And what, this guy is also level 10. But it's on cooldown. Why do you disturb me? What is this guy able to do? No! He has nothing else to do. Hey, brother Martin, don't die. We must hurry. I'm trying to. Good. Oh, I was trying to save him, but he's quite squishy. I gotta say. Okay, we need to turn and fight now. In the range of the towers, it's not a big deal. Okay. Once this guy is level hitting level 10, gold brand. I would like to see that. This guy is also level 10. Energy strike. Sends out the shock. I mean, that's like Gandalf, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, that's literally like Gandalf. And also this guy, remember, Abnurtan is the most expensive hero. So he's getting some units on the field from this area too, which is something I don't like to see. We need to regain this area, boys. So we need to regain this area. Okay. Upon my honor, I do Our blades I are level almost 6, 24 power points collected, which is nice and great. And all the upgrades, there's no reason not to. Our money is still looking amazing. And we have now 25, which will give us the chance uh, to summon Nubidium. Summons Nubidium, Brass Golem. That's gonna be a big boy, I believe. You know what? We can test it out. So, we need to wait for this, um, for the vision... Emperor's Edict to see the entire to map because in order to summon things in this game you need vision So you can summon them. Do you see that in the fog of war? That's not possible. So we gotta use this First now and now we get the chance to summon this and this and this at the same time It's like Balrog my dude Oh, no, it's not like Balrog. What is this guy able to do? Okay, I want to see his damage Dragon Break. Okay, we don't need to teleport. Disabled targeted. Oh, doesn't deal any damage. And also, he's going down like crazy, my dude. He's going down in, low, in no time. That's the big boy? Holy guacamole. Did expect more, to be honest with you guys. Did expect more. Would be a lie if I would say anything else. Hey, my dude. Oh, this guy. Terror. I mean, we need maybe. <laughs> you know what we what we potentially need? Siege weapons. I believe that's what it is. I believe that's what it is, boys. Okay, let's jump. Jump on him, Gimli. Ah, ha, ha. And also, let's use this to at least take down. I mean, yes, he he's hitting hard, but it is just Good not enough. To see you, sir. It is just not enough. So Do you guys need call. to clean this area, please. Uh, we have all the upgrades. We can get some more horses on the field, but we need to get the builder first. There comes the builder. And that's going to give us the chance. I mean, this is the second fortress is kind of meaningless in this uh, one, I believe. Siege works. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Let's build this building to get some siege weapons on the field, shall we? Does he have once again? No, he doesn't have any, any siege weapons yeah, around this side. We need to summon yet another one. It's like pretty much like the barricade from the Mortal Faction in the game. So like almost identical. You know what we can do? We can capture those buildings too to see the special unit we get access to with the with the Empire Faction. He was just using Warchant. That sounds like a plan. We can do the same. It's on cooldown. We can't. The reason why he's doing it automatically is because I was right-clicking on his ability. When you right-click on an ability, they're gonna always do it automatically whenever it's available, you know? They're also frozen now. It's great. We have 12 power points almost collected. We can also get the chance. Halves the resource production of any resource structure within the area of effect. That's pretty nice in a multiplayer game, I believe. Let's get this one. 
I mean, it's gonna make our make us produ produce faster units, but it's not like we need more. But get more of them on the field anyway. What? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, Come on, that was really close. That was really close. Where is Brother Martin when we need him? Brother Martin, you need to heal them automatically, my dude. Okay, we can summon them once again. Those ballistas are annoying. I'm really disappointed from the gole from the golem, though. Was expecting a bit more, to be honest with you guys. Oh, that's like a. That's like a. Okay, my bad. That's like an outpost to give us money over time. Okay, let's group all together, boys. We're gonna go for the big war chant slash rallying co play. Let's use our freezing rain to weaken the enemy units and let's go get, get inside the jeans. Let's give them all the upgrades they need. And also use them now to go for the attack from this top Duty left calls. side. In the meantime, let's see how powerful we are. I mean, this, I mean, we have no siege weapons yet. That's the problem. So we need siege weapons. We have the better ring ram or the trebuchet. Let's get trebuchet. So we can keep our range all the time. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the buildings are going down. The waiting. The insufferable waiting. Need heavy armor. Uh, heavy armor, but instead of silver tone arrows, I would like to use uh, or have the fire arrow, which is gonna give us more damage output against buildings. The silver tones is nice against units, but not that great against buildings, as you can see. We can also pick this up. Pick this up. Not that we need that. Good to see you, sir. Okay. We keep fighting all the time. But it's the guy with the heavy damage against the steady hand. Let's. I want to use the steady hand. Come on, dude. I want to see this damage against the fortress. I mean, that's still nothing. Rally again. These grave times. judge better self at all times. Okay. What matters is that we act. The legions always been here. We need to kill that boys. Hey, the people. You've got the best the soldiers in Syria. No, Brother Martin is gonna be in trouble soon. Our wizard is using his lightning sword automatically. That's nice. But we still need to peel back. We need to leave the archers here. But it, it feels like we, without siege weapons, we won't be able to take down this citadel, guys. Or without enough um, without enough damage from the swordsmen or so on. Okay, Get more units, more units, more units. In these grave times, each legionnaire must be his better self. Where is the siege works? That it is. Let's get it to level three, four, twenty-five percent faster production time. This means we can get those trebuchets on the field eventually way, way faster. Look against units, it's very effective. Do you see this? I mean, it's very identical with the Silverton arrows from the Albion faction. But, you know, once again, you sacrifice damage against buildings to get damage against units. Silverton upgrade is the best upgrade against units. But it's the worst upgrade against buildings with the ice, ice arrows. Okay. I mean, I'm actually curious if we can also give those trebuchets firestone to make them hit harder. Would be nice if this would be the case. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty. Okay. You know what we can do? We can just summon this, I guess. Get down to the front. We also get this under our control for more resources. Here we are able to recruit the Tsachi. I don't know how to pronounce that. We have so much money. The Empire is man's last bastion. But there is little to nothing we can do with that. Let's capture this outpost once again. We are stealing it away from us, which is really unfortunate. And nope, we are not able to buy Firestone on the trebuchets, which is uh, not the best. Not the best, not the best. 14 power points collected, boys. Let's get this one as well. And let's use it so he doesn't get that much money anymore. Okay. And do we also get the chance to see a lot? You know, ideally we want to wait until all the summons are available and we can go. But once again, we need to make sure that we have at least three up to five trebuchets to have the damage output we need to take down the enemy fortress. Without that, it's going to be almost impossible. With Arches all alone, we are doing almost here. no damage. So let's peel back with the level five. Let's keep people. them here. Yeah, so that they won't get shoot. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable and warriors. how these units are looking like. Where are they? Are they, them, are they come? It's what we do. Oh, they are archers. Okay, that's what it is. But they are also able to fight with the swords. Okay. So it's like um, 
multifunctional units like the Galadrim warriors, for example, from the Men of the West faction in Rise of the Witch King or in BFME too. We're okay, guys. On duty. All right, so reveals hidden criminal scum. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for trouble. Let's go on. Let's move on. You guys another move day, on from this side. Try to destroy them. as many buildings as you possibly we'll can. But the main them. army is gonna come from this area. Keep now we have three trebuchets. That's nice. The Legion or four trebuchets, Reda. Right? That's even better. Keep those boulders ready. Okay. Oh, they have firestone. The okay. And so do I. You get, just can't buy that, but they have firestone automatically. That's what it is. Okay. Destroy everything. Don't give them anything, but take everything from them. And the golem, I gotta be honest, was very disappointing. So I was expecting a bit more. Maybe it's me. But he was, I mean, maybe this is the Silverton arrow damage from this, you know, once again, it happens also to Balrog in the actual game. Hey, my dude, don't take too much damage. Where is your brother? He was already using the heal, he's using the heal now. Now the trap, oh, the trebuchets were not moving alongside. We need to get them on the field now. And even more of them are needed, to be honest. More of them are needed just for the for the plan B. You know, you always need a plan B, boys. Come on. Just in case everything else fails. Let's use heal. I wanted to use Warchant, but it is so it is, okay? And once again, this is only the beta. So they are planning to add in total 11 new factions to this game. And of course, they need to also change some bad stuff, some buggy stuff. Which is going to be eventually done very soon. So stay tuned for this one as we're going to summon uh, two hearts once again. Let's use Freezing Rain. And also this Golem has such a long cooldown. But maybe he's OP in some matchups. Take cover, man. It's going down slowly but surely. Fortress is actually quite tanky, I gotta say. Let's use the champion. Everyone is level 10. Everyone is level 10. <coughs> Let's summon more reinforcements. Put myself in your hands. Don't fail me. A dragon god. Oh, look at the Martin. Brother Martin Brother Martin became a dragon Martin now. I see you. Nice. Nice. That's actually really nice. And as these buildings are falling, I believe that's going to be the last building we need to kill. Or destroy, rather. And then we will be victorious, guys. GG. Well played. Let me know in the comment section down below if you also want to see more content of this mod in the future. Remember, for now, there are only two factions released. The faction we were just taking a look into was Empire. Uh, in 44 minutes, we were finally victorious. And the second faction is going to be Dominion. If you want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. If this video was enjoyable, guys, please don't forget to leave a like. Likes are helping quite a lot. And also subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, keep hitting like a truck. And also stay beyond standards. Peace out.